Oh, what's going on? I was just studying some church history. And as a matter of fact, I think you should study church history too. Here's a few reasons why you should study church history. Reason number one, if you're a Christian, church history is your history. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you take your place in a very long line of godly men and women stretching back, not just to the Reformation, not just to the day of Pentecost, but all the way back to the beginning in the garden. We are part of God's remnant, His people in the earth, and He will keep us. If you're a Christian, you're part of something really big and really old. Another reason to study church history is just for the pure joy of it. <laughs> There's a faith strengthening component to looking at the deeds of God of old. It's orienting because we can see why things are the way they are today and whose shoulders we are actually standing upon. We can add everyone in church history since the close of the canon, certainly before it, but after it, to that great cloud of witnesses to stir our own faith in our own day. Looking at the great deeds of yesterday can inspire the great deeds of today and to help us to steward the gospel for those who will come tomorrow. But studying church history, well, that can be intimidating and it can be difficult and hard work. So we've made it easy for you. My name is Luke Walker and these are Wrath and Grace Biographies.